breaking right now, guilty on all counts. That's what a jury has just decided against Javante Higgins for the killings of David and Vivian Bauman. Amanda Jarrett is at the live desk right now with what's coming out. Amanda? Sue, that verdict came down just about five minutes ago. Leon Hendricks in the courtroom was able to tweet that verdict. Again, guilty on all counts, guilty in the murders of David and Vivian Bauman. We want to show you some pictures Leon was able to snap as this verdict came down. We want to show you a picture of the Bauman family. That's what Leon was able to take as that verdict was announced. Guilty verdict. You can see a very emotional moment for this family as they hear the fate of Javante Higgins. There's Javante Higgins as he heard the verdict being read by the jury. Guilty in all counts. Guilty in that double murder. Again, these are photos just out of the courtroom within the past few minutes. That verdict just came down five minutes ago. We know we just heard from Higgins' attorney who told Leon that they will definitely appeal this conviction. Now, that's new information coming out just within the last few minutes. We know there was extra security brought in uh, for this verdict. It was a packed courtroom, as you can imagine. We know the jury had been deliberating for hours after breaking on Friday. This trial all began one week ago. The prosecution presented its case last week as authorities say Higgins killed the couple after breaking into their home with intentions of robbing it. We know a friend testified Higgins showed up at his house around 3 or 4 in the morning the day the Baumans were killed, saying he needed help to get rid of the Baumans Cadillac and that some people had been shot. We also heard from witnesses who say Higgins broke into their homes in the years leading up to those murders as the prosecution hoped to show a pattern of how Higgins operated. Now, a big sticking point in this whole case is coming from the defense attorney. Higgins' attorney has argued all along that investigators never found a trace of Higgins in that house. No trace of DNA. Obviously, that did not stop the jury from handing down guilty verdicts in this case. His attorney did admit that Higgins is guilty of one thing, and that's stealing the Bauman's car, which he later set on fire. Again, jury came to another conclusion. Guilty on all counts for Javante Higgins. This is a verdict just coming down. This is a breaking story we're working in. Leon Hendricks has been in the courtroom every day of this trial. He's at the courthouse right now working to get reaction from the big players involved in this. He just talked to Higgins' attorney, as I mentioned, who says they will definitely appeal this guilty conviction. We're going to continue working on this uh, throughout the noon and hope to hear from Leon as soon as he gets more information on the reaction to this guilty verdict. At the live desk, Amanda Jarrett, 24 Hour News 8. Hey, Amanda, thank you so much. I'm just getting word that Leon just stepped in front of a camera. Leon, what happened in the past few minutes? Tell us about it. Uh, lead detective uh, Stephanie Morningstar. All right, we're, and we're hearing now from Tom Kelly, the son-in-law yeah, of John David and Vivian Bauman. Job in putting this case together and all the hard work and time that they spent away from their families is certainly very much appreciated by our family. We'd like to thank the prosecutor, Chris Becker, who did just a marvelous job, we think, of presenting the case and uh, bringing this uh, whole situation to fruition. And we'd like to thank um, Rita from the uh, victim witness area here at the Kent County uh, for the wonderful uh, job that she's done in providing us with uh, prayers and uplifting us and all the information that she gave us on a regular basis to keep us informed as to what was going on and how things were progressing. Received many ca uh, cards from her and um, all of the thoughts and prayers that came to us from all of these folks were greatly appreciated. Obviously, we're very happy today with the outcome of the trial and the verdicts that were given. Javante Higgins is the lowest form of humanity that um, we can have here on the God's green earth. And um, obviously he has a total disregard for life and for the property of others and shows no remorse at all in what he's done to um, our family. And we find um, today a little happiness in that justice was done in the memory of our parents, uh, David and Vivian Bauman, and um, finally uh, we can get on with our lives and um, have some healing and closure in this matter. So um, justice was done today in their honor, and we as a family are very happy with the outcome. Thank you. What would your message to Mr. Higgins be? He deserves what he got. Um, he's shown that uh, he has a total disregard for property and individuals ever since 2007 and probably before that and um, he deserves to be put away where he can do no more harm to another family hopefully in the future what do you think mom and dad bauman would be saying to that 
they'd have a forgiving heart. That's the way they were. They were loving, kind people, and um, I'm sure that um, would have forgiveness in their heart. Um, have you forgiven him? I have. Yes, I have. And um, I think most of the family have as well. And um, we are a faith-based family, believe in God. And unfortunately, our government these days want to push God out of everything in our fair country, in our wonderful country. And uh, we truly believe that um, he's here with us today. The Holy Spirit has been here with us today and given us strength and encouragement throughout this entire ordeal. And as a family, you just move forward from here. That is our Try hope. Try to. Try to, yes. Um, obviously, it's more difficult for um, Sue, Linda, and Karen, the daughters, um, as, as long as they have the rest of us around them to love them and lift them up, I'm sure they'll be okay. We saw a mix of emotions today, some smiling, some crying. How does, how does it feel? Um, I'm, I'm kind of empty right now, to be honest with you. I, I'm actually physically and mentally exhausted. I don't know how you can do that sitting in a courtroom for five, six days, but it's the way it affects you as a family. And um, you're always waiting for that outcome and for that verdict to come in. And today that happened, and now we can go on, have some closure in our lives, and start rebuilding things again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Tom Kelly, the son-in-law of David and Vivian Bauman, obviously expressing uh, their reaction to this as uh, the family leaves the courtroom now. Um, these folks, most of them have been here throughout the trial. Um, Karen, one of their daughters, had to testify in this case. Uh, it's been, uh, as you can imagine, just an emotional and difficult time for them. And, uh, of course, as he said, they're hoping that this uh, result, this ending here, is some semblance of closure there for them. Um, this has been a long time coming for them. It's been a year since these murders happened, more than a year. The case has been delayed. There have been competency hearings. And, and now uh, we have this. You can see the family embracing each other here in the, the lobby at the 11th, the 11th floor of the, the courthouse. And, uh, uh, and this is, of course, the the day they've been waiting for us. So they're loading on to the, to the elevators there. A um, short time ago, we did hear from uh, Javante Hagen's defense attorney as she stepped out of the courtroom. Obviously, she's got a different take on this, though she did express her remorse for the family as well. She says they certainly plan to appeal, though this didn't come as a shock to her, today's result. Listen. Surprised by this verdict? Um, I'm surprised. No, I, I, that's a hard question to answer. Um, that's a hard question to answer, to be honest with you. Not entirely, but um, I do feel for the family. No doubt here that she defended this case vigorously. She actually called for a mistrial at one point, saying that some testimony that was brought in prejudiced the jury. She says that they will appeal this, no doubt, and there are certainly some issues that she plans to bring before the appeals court. We'll, of course, continue to follow that process, but right now, as it stands, Javante Higgins will be headed to prison for the rest of his life, found guilty of the murders of David and Vivian Bauman last January. Right now, reporting live on the 11th floor of the Kent County Courthouse, Leon Hendricks, 24-hour news aid.